<laughs> All right. Hi, Keith. Hi, Gabby. Thank you so much for joining me here today on Volvo.com. Uh, today is April 14th, 2013, and we're here to discuss gun control in the U.S. Just before we get started, um, as usual, this conversation is being recorded. After the recording is complete, we'll be uploading the video to YouTube, to the Internet. Um, are you both okay with that? Yep, fine with me. I got a question. Can people in Germany see it? Yes. Because I gave my aunt the information. I'm hoping she's yes, going to look it up. She hasn't seen me in like 20 years. Yes. Yeah, really? She... How cool is that? That's very cool. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, she could definitely so, see it. Keith, just between you and me, I don't want any jugulars ripped out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not I want to keep my dignity and I want to look good in front of my aunt who's a nun. <laughs> <laughs> No fears, Gabby. I'm not a liberal, so. <laughs> All right, Gabby, and that's okay that we're going to put on the internet, right? On YouTube afterwards? Yeah, we're good. Okay, great. And then obviously no personal attacks are allowed here at Vonvo, so let's please keep the conversation civil and valuable. And, um, you know, why don't you guys just open it up with introductions? Uh, Gabby, would you mind just telling our viewership uh, who you are and why you're so passionate about this topic? And then... Uh, Keith, you can do the same. Okay. All right. My name is Gabby. Thanks to everybody who's here to listen. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm involved with uh, OFA, which is uh, Organized for Action. It's a group of people that are supporting President Obama's agenda. Now, uh, we have lots of different subjects we pick. Many of us are concerned about getting money out of elections. Some of us are concerned about equal rights, and there are lots of things. And uh, when the Sandy Hook shooting occurred, it added another uh, branch to uh, Organized for Action, and that was um, the gun issue. The out... It happened again, and upon analyzing, um, it was going wrong. Lots of things are contributing to these problems, but one of the things we found was that um, it was way too easy to buy guns, and it should be made a little bit more difficult, so hopefully that we can weed out uh, some of the folks that could cause some real problems. Um, and so... We've been pushing the agenda to our legislators, and um, one of our biggest goals was uh, that we get Congress to actually bring it up for a vote so that we can vote on the legislation, that we can see which legislators are exercising courage and um, are interested in protecting the, the population, or which legislators are cowardly and are basically protecting the gun manufacturers. So uh, I'm here not as an OFA member, but I'm here as a citizen who uh, really, really wants to see common sense applied when we're purchasing guns. Uh, just so you know, I have no issue with guns. Uh, I own guns. Um, but we need to be a little bit more discerning about who should be able to get them, under what circumstances we can get them, and... Um, I guess that's kind of where I'm at. So, having taken up about 15 minutes of just jabbering, I now turn it over to Keith. Thanks, Gabby. Um, my name is Keith Turner. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran two times. That's two honorable discharges. I am a patriot, a conservative, capitalist American. And I believe in supporting and defending uh, the Constitution of the United States. I'm an absolutist in that regard. The Constitution specifically states that we uh, it acknowledges the existence of a right, several rights. There are ten of them in our Bill of Rights. The second right that, that, that is acknowledged and, and codified to exist is the right of the people to keep their arms. That's the end of the gun control debate as far as I'm concerned. So some of these things that, uh, that Gabby talks about, and, and I'll shoot holes in that. 
figuratively speaking, Gabby. Uh, I'll shoot holes in some of that stuff for you in a little bit. Uh, but, you know, again, my position is that uh, there should be no further, there, 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 many of the gun controls and restrictions that exist now should not be, and there certainly should not be any further or additional infringements on, on our rights. Uh, one thing Gabby mentioned was this vote on legislation, and that's what we're going to talk about is the legislation and the voting on it. I don't see where where it is within the purview of, of Congress to legislate restrictions on our core fundamental right to keep and bear, that's possess and carry arms, including firearms. That's where I come from. Thank you. Now, somebody mentioned... Uh uh, Ken, you were kind enough to say, hey, Adam and Anza carried out his act with legally purchased guns. Uh, you're right, but I don't think he purchased them. I think his mom purchased them. And um, so, um, th sure, they were legal. And uh, even under the uh, current legislation that's up, I think he'd end up getting a hold of it. Because uh, according to the legislation that's now up that they're looking to talk about, relatives can give guns to each other. Or if a relative passes away, the, the legislation that's currently going to be uh, talked about, um, it can be passed to an heir. So uh, under these circumstances, it may not have stopped. But uh, my argument is I don't know that I want to have an assault rifle uh, available out there. I think um, we, should have, we shouldn't have allowed the, um, the assault rifle ban to go into a sunset. We should have kept it going. Uh, during the period when we did have a ban on the assault rifles, we guess what? We didn't have a whole heck of a lot of activity on, on, on murders with assault rifles. But since, uh, what was it, 2004, uh, that it's basically been allowed to resurface, we've had, we've had an increase in these types of, of murders, and, and, and it's horrible. I, I, I don't understand why we need a 30 magazine clip. I don't know why we can't just have 10. And uh, Keith yeah. and I, we've had this discussion before, so um, I'm sure we'll have it again, and uh, maybe we can, uh, you know, come See, to a compromise. Say, first, first, firstly, you're talking about different things, and, and maybe we ought to set some ground rules on what the conversation is going to be about. You mentioned the, the legislation that's going to be voted on, but again, as is common with anti-gunners, you don't, you're not specific, and, and often when you are specific, you're inaccurate. What would you like me to be specific about? The legend. When you say the legislation that's being huh? voted on, what uh -huh. is the legislation? What is it that is? A whole bunch of parts to it. Now it's boom, boom, yeah. Bullet points. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Oh, I didn't memorize them. And Keith, I just got off work. Look, I'm still in my uniform. I didn't even have. And I, I saw. I saw. Bullet points. Bullet. <laughs> All right. The main thing is, my friend, all right, I'm not going to argue a whole heck of a lot, or nor am I going to debate a lot, but the main thing is, what they want to do, is they want to do universal background checks. Which is what? What does that mean? Universal background check. That what, means they want to do universal checks. universal background check? That means the me. same thing in every state. Same rules in every state. Federal. Not state. Federal. How is that different from what happens now? It's not working. It's not working, because I can, in Chicago, I can go across the, 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 the border, and I can go out and get a gun. From whom? You can't go I to can a go gun store. You, you, no, you can't. I don't have to do a background check. I can do a straw purchase. No. I've got all those things available to me. It's easy. Gabby, Gabby let, me, let me explain it to you. This is, this is what is frustrating to me and many, many uh, American patriots. You say, people on your side say things that are inaccurate. So let me let I don't me give have you some to do a talk about that from the private party. No, that's right. Absolutely. And and remember okay. Gabby, Gabby and most guns are bought through a private party. So what? Gabby, we so that's are, what the problem is. That is not a problem, Gabby. It is huge. We are free American citizens and we have a right to engage in commerce. I should be able to sell you my cell phone without the government involvement. I should be able to sell you this milk jug, no government involvement. Milk 
So you can show off your big, pretty gun and say, ooh, look yes, at this. Yes, I want to show my friends. I want to show it off, then I get to show it off. You know why? Does it make I'm, you feel manly? Is that what it does? Oh, yeah. Does it give you more manhood? It enhances my manhood. Absolutely. Oh, sure. now I understand it. But that And that explains why so many women carry guns. Ah, uh, you know, I've got guns, but I don't need to carry them. Does it make you feel more manly? Yeah, I don't really care. The only reason I've got them is because my dad says I should have one, so I got one. Okay, so you listen to what other people tell you. And, and yeah, you know, my dad's been along. pretty smart. See, He's I'm been a free man. I can think for myself. I can make my own decisions. Yeah. I but you know what? I'm here to talk about legislation. Okay, so and what I don't know how... Let, let, let me ask. Let, let, let me ask. Let's, let's ask. Most of the people that are sitting here, are you mostly... Uh, the poor folks that are taking the time to watch, uh, I'm uh, interested. Are you mostly saying, hey, there shouldn't be any uh, legislation. I want it, We want to leave it as it is. Or are some of you feeling, uh, well, you know, there's been some damage done. We need to do something. How do you guys feel that are watching this? Because I'd like to get a consensus here on what, uh, what, what kind of uh, group we're, we're, we've got here. Uh, so I know I'm not to bore you with too much. There you go. That, that's my position. You know, you know why we're at it, Keith? I think we just, why don't we reveal everything? I mean... Yep. Why don't we just let let freedom reign? If I want to kill somebody, I'll kill somebody. If I want to rob somebody, I'll rob somebody. You know, because we don't need to have these laws in effect because the honest people aren't going to do it. Killing someone and so it really or doesn't or matter. someone causes them harm. So I'm just killing somebody with a gun. a gun. My owning a gun does not cause harm. Until you pick it up and do something with it. And then, that's the problem. Then, then I should suffer the consequences of, of and repercussions of my and actions. And you know what the consequences are of people that are doing what, what with these guns? They're shooting a bunch of innocent people. And then you know what they're doing? Not me. They shoot themselves. I I they shoot it. themselves. So there is nobody there to pay the price. Nobody there to pay retribution to these families. Kids and, and wives and aunts and uncles, yeah, grandpas, they grandmas, they everybody they gets ripped they away. They, they, and you know, I don't care. You know, but I don't care. You know, but you guys are paying money to these to these gun manufacturers for producing those. I, 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 I don't know how much you pay. You know why? It's called uh, capitalism and uh, free exchange of goods and services. Uh, you want to sell me something? You voted for Romney, didn't you? Rice, I agree to it. You voted for Romney, didn't you? You voted for Romney. I sure did. Uh, yeah. Okay. You voted for the communists, right? So I voted for uh, President Obama, but what I'm going to uh, say, uh, I think. Is that a surprise? <laughs> I think I'm in the. Uh, uh, I think I'm in an area where uh, most of the, the folks. I'm not seeing any comments, so I'm thinking they're, they they might they be. They agree with me. They probably so are. Polite, but I'm gonna I'm people. gonna tell you this, Keith. I'm gonna tell you that <laughs> I'm not about killing people. I wanna me keep people me. alive. Me too. I don't wanna Especially see people slip out. Life. Yeah. And and you know, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I could defend myself with a with a seven uh, you know, with a revolver that holds about hey, seven. Wait, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let, let's let's for just for a moment. Let's take guns off the table, not part of the no guns, right? Okay. Guns don't exist. Okay. You're not right. Okay. Would you would you be okay with me carrying a sword? Yeah, that's fine. What about you? Would you carry a sword? I carry a sword. I, matter of fact, I fight with swords. I'm totally cool with them. You, you and me, we'd have kind of a, a go around. <laughs> how, how many how many attackers could you fend off with a sword? You know, it really doesn't matter. I'm looking at, I'm not worried about the attackers coming at me. I'm looking at what I could do to damage somebody. No, no, no. And so I could only damage one at a time. Yeah, so and that's I'm, what I'm, not, I'm, I'm not worried about defending myself, because if I get killed, I get killed. But, but, but there, are people, there are people who are concerned about <laughs> defending themselves. Well, you know, I'll do the best I can. I've got and my so gun, but if an army comes at me, I'm not going to have a shot at this. And if you come at me with your automatic rifle and fire, you know, uh, somebody comes at me with a machine gun, you know, I'm not, I don't have machine guns. Why don't we have machine guns? 
because your stupid Supreme Court back in 1934 upheld that uh, idiotic re uh, restriction on the uh, common use of uh, possession of machine guns. Now, in many states, you why haven't we had anybody killed with machine guns? Pardon me. Why haven't we had anybody killed with machine guns? Why haven't we had anyone killed with an assault rifle? We had people killed with assault rifles. Come on, ask my question. I asked you, why haven't we had anybody shot with machine guns? Because machine guns are not commonly in the possession of civilians. Nor Has the government taken us over? Have we done assault rifles? To rifles? Nor are assault rifles. An assault rifle is one that is capable of fully automatic fire. And they are not commonly available to the civilian market. People, as a rule, do not own assault rifles. They get them illegally. Well, why don't they, why don't because they, they don't have to get that crown check. Oh, oh, so now you can just go buy an assault rifle. Gabby, let me give you some information now, if you don't mind. I mean, I, I, how did that young man that killed all those kids? No, let me finish. How did that young man get out the assault rifle? Right? You keep making it up, and you're saying things that are inaccurate and untrue. Here's the I fact of the matter is me that, that Prove an me assault wrong. rifle is one that is capable of selective and or and or fully automatic fire, right? Right. Um, a, a machine gun in, in essence, right? Which have been regulated and restricted since 1934. But in 1934, let me finish. They haven't been restricted, they are fucking illegal. I'm sorry, I'm not the game. That's you can't restrict this is watching you, right? Nancy, you watching. <laughs> I gotta stop using that F-bomb. Listen but, to me. If you will, all right. please, just, just hear me Absolutely. out. In 1986, they passed a law that no, no new um, machine guns or guns capable of automatic fire could be made or manufactured or imported for civilian use, right? For the civilian market. So there is a certain number of fully automatic weapons in the country. They're regulated by the ATF. You got to jump through not only the standard background check, but some super background checks, pay an additional $200 stamp every year, okay? But, mm -hmm. but to, to, you got to find one to buy, and they're very rare. And, ma'am, they are extremely expensive. Extremely expensive. Right. Some going as much as twenty thousand dollars. Wow. Right, that's to get one and have it legally, right? Now if mm -hmm. you want to shoot one, you in a in a machine gun, you go through thirty rounds in a matter of seconds. Mm. It's very expensive to shoot. Mm -hmm. So most people can't afford them. And they're not gonna go through the checks. Why would I bother going through the stupid checks and paying all the extra fees and everything to go buy the super expensive gun that's super expensive to shoot when I can go buy this one for eighteen hundred dollars or that one for a thousand? And it don't is the fully automatic is whatever. You know, I would love to have one, but I don't need one and you know, it's it's irrelevant. Oh, you, got, you, got, you got your stuff, yeah. You know, if somebody breaks in your house and steal those those beauty, and they and they use that little old gun to kill a bunch of innocent lives, well, you'll and have all your stuff to thank for it. Whose fault See, the guy who stole it would be yours for not having them secured properly to where they could get a hold of them. They are the secure, Gabby. They are secure. If they ever get stolen and get used in a multi murder, Gabby, you're gonna. Gabby, they are yeah. secure. They're in my house. They're in my house, okay. so okay. they are secure. If someone okay. breaks in, then he yeah. is responsible for doing that, right? That's not right. Me. And if, if they manage to get their hands on it, you will have been responsible for not securing them good enough to where they could get them. Well, his parents would be responsible for, for having birth, you know, right? Well, we can, yeah. So, yeah. Well, right? we'll so cross that why, don't, why, don't, why not put the focus on the criminal? See, all this stupid legislation you're talking about no, affects the law by legislation because the criminal. I want to make it as difficult for the criminal as possible. They're not going to ban any laws, and they're still going to get guns. There's over 300 million That's guns right. out there now, and if anything, you'll create a, a, a further black market. I want. And I, you're going to turn law-abiding citizens. Black market. market. Let's make it difficult for them. Let's have no, a black no, market it's now. It's not difficult. It's, it's 
not difficult it now. Difficult. Why is it going to get any more difficult? We're going to make it difficult. It's Thank you. are not going to make it difficult. Oh, you're we will. You're going to make it difficult for me to, to well, obey the law, but those who don't obey the law, it's not any more difficult how many, for them. How many machine guns have killed people? I don't know, Gabby, how many? In the United States. We've had this conversation. I don't know. We said, don't we said zero, and the reason is because there are none to get. The reason is because they've been made impossible to get. So it no, takes a little no, time, no, but we can weed out the seven. Yeah, let me finish. Keith, I, I waited for you. Go ahead. Make Come on, up. let me finish. I'm going to make it up right here. The machine guns, no one's been murdered with any machine guns lately. At least not for a long, long time that I can think of. We've had assault rifles, assault rifle well, murders, haven't. but you we haven't. haven't. The, the children that were murdered in we the Sandy no Hook were shot with an assault. What was, what was, come on, what is that, an A, A, what is it, A, R, 15, A, K? Yeah, this one. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay. That's, so that's, that? that's, that's an AR-15. Okay, so that, wasn't that what, wasn't that what he used? Yeah, and it's not an assault rifle. Keep telling okay, you. Okay, well, we can dress it up any way we want to. No, but just, let's just, know, let's just have a lot of them not dress it up, and we just Wait, be truthful. Why do we have it dressed up to look like a machine gun? It doesn't look that, like that a machine gun. It looks like an AR-15. That is not a hunting rifle, my friend. You are either the world worst shot or, or, you, can or, do, you, can you know. You can use it for hunting if you like. Yeah, who would use that for hunting? A lot of people do. Oh, uh, give me a break. Yes, name me, do. name me two people that use it for hunting. Uh, Ted Nugent and Ted Nugent Jr. And what have they, what have they shot? And I guarantee you they're Those not. antelope, deer. No, because that rips everything apart. There's no way they can No, it doesn't, it. Gabby. You don't know what you're well, talking about. Back to the you're making sense. Who had, who had their hands blown off and who had their organs blown up inside? Tell that to those parents. You know, this, Tell them the, the, the bullet that this, this shoots, that this shoots. After the pregnant women who had babies explode inside of them. One thousandth of an inch larger than a 22 caliber bullet. That's why it's a two, two, three. Twenty-two and three one thousandths How many bullets is it capable of firing in a minute? Well, I don't know. How I don't many know rounds? How many, How many rounds right? you got in a clip? I got 60 in here. Yeah. And All it's right. a magazine, not a clip. All right, a magazine. I'm sorry, I don't know the technical terms. Exactly. So Exactly. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, I do know 60 in a, in, in a clip. Magazine. In a magazine. Six, I'm just making sure you know what you're saying. But 60 in a magazine, there's no reason for that. Unless you're out to do a mass murder. Why? Because I've seen, look, I know what's going on in the world. We've seen plenty of stuff in the Whoa. news, Keith. And I we're tired. Know. I mean, we're I show, tired. I show, I show we're tired. how quickly I can how, how quickly I can change magazines. But who yeah. are you or anyone to decide how many rounds are sufficient for my self? Adam, Adam Lanza. Where do you come up with this number of 10? Why not 4 or 3? Absolutely right. So, 
Ele é o irmão. Ele é o irmão. Let's meditate. Well, you can meditate if you want to. Listen, my time is up. I've got a hamburger waiting because I came home late and I see we're getting nowhere. And uh, I am calming down. You keep making things up and, and, and reduce no. the No, you know what? I am not, I'm not making things up. I'm, I'm really not making things up. But I've had the privilege to listen to folks who have been gun victims. What and, um, does that have to do with me? What that, it has nothing to do with you personally. Gun owners, law-abiding gun owners. What does that have to you do with law-abiding gun owners? The, the law-abiding gun owners will continue to be law-abiding gun owners. How many, let's but do a if comparison. I make it difficult, let's do a comparison. Know, I, I, How many people have been killed in car accidents as opposed to gun violence? Well, I know we've had about. Uh, how, give me your give me your statistic. How many? I don't know. Three, four hundred thousand. I don't know. A lot more than that. Oh, I don't think so. I we've think had thirty thousand people. Thirty thousand or forty thousand die in automobile accidents every year, as opposed to approximately ten thousand where guns are used. But here, let me give you some other some further statistics on on gun crimes. First of all. The, the, the majority of gun crimes, or the guns used to commit murders and so forth, are handguns, not rifles. The majority of long guns are not what you call assault rifles, those that are used, right? The majority of people who commit murders and who are murder victims, 95% or so, are, are felons and, and, and bad people, right? Where are you getting so, your statistics from? That's a uh, bunch of hooey. stupid... Mothers against violence, illegal mayors, and big slurping. I don't Still think people. so. I don't think that's the same. No, I don't those think are so. FBI, those are FBI statistics. Oh, sure, because you say so. It's the truth, right? Because I look... <laughs> you, you look it can't be just up? like right, what you, you're saying I'm doing. Opening my mouth and all stuff comes out, right? Instead of just listening to those o organizing for Obama people, why don't you investigate and do some research on your... I'm just... Take what they what they feed you. Should I read, read the NRA reports? Is that maybe where I should go? Is that where the truth where? is? Where the NRA website? Uh, is that I where the know. truth I is? Their, I haven't been to their website, but maybe that's where I should go too. Is that the truth? Is that where they are? I don't is know. it? I haven't, been, I haven't. I haven't visited the website. I don't know. So, are you, so where are you getting all of this wonderful information from? Facebook. <laughs> I read, Gabby. I do. You know, I'll give you a tip. A tip. Here, here's a tip for you. If you want to find something, just type it right into your the address bar of your. your oh, honey, web I do. Browser. I check what the government's doing. I write. I read all kinds of reports. So I'm how, good. How, how is it that you but, are so uninformed? But I'm waiting for so you now to call things. Well, you're telling me I'm uninformed. I don't think I am. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what sources you are using that make you ever so much more lofty and informed than me. Uh, the US You've been Council quoting a lot of stuff, and it sounds real important, but I haven't seen any credibility. Federalist Papers. Uh, what Federalist you? Papers? What did the Federalist Papers recently say? And who writes the Federalist Papers? Uh, I'm speechless, Gabby. The uh -huh. The Federalist Papers were those documents that were written by the Founding Fathers in order oh, to convince, and convince and they were used fuck. to help convince and sell the Constitution to all of the states ahead okay, of, the I do have those. of the Constitution, okay? You might want to know your history. I do have it, and I do have the book, and I've got the whole This is what I'm out. saying. You really might... You, you folks are the trick of being Americans and not just living here. So what did you, know what do you know about the Whiskey Rebellion? Know who we are. We what do you are know about the Whiskey Rebellion? Communists. <laughs> what do you know about we the Whiskey Rebellion? We aren't, we aren't Canadians, we ain't French people, hey. Mexicans or Costa Ricans. We're not Cubans. We're Americans. We are unique. We're different from everybody else. And yes, ma'am, we are better. Yeah, what do you know about the Whiskey Rebellion? Nothing. All right, so your history isn't all that great, because uh, George Washington talked about that, and he uh, also talked, talked about, about the what? Second history. Amendment in context with that. Yeah, what did he say? Well, you read it. You know it. Read your Federalist Papers. It'll tell You're you. Calling it, tell me what it oh, no, no, no. I'll let you be surprised. You read it. He called, he, he called on using, he, he was telling the people to go home. There was a rebellion afoot. 
and he was telling the people to go home, and if they weren't going to go home, he was going to invoke the Second Amendment and call standing a militia to, at the discretion of the government, suppress okay. the revolt that was trying and, to take and place. And where, 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 where were the militia going to get their, their arms from? Well, because remember, they had the Second Amendment, they had their arms. So, That's right, um, we have the right to keep and bear they arms. They had their muskets. And if the government infringes... And they were going now, to be serving at the pleasure of the government. But they, they were but serving but, on but, behalf but of the government. Listen to no, what you're saying. No, not wait a minute. That's what your you're documents saying. You're are saying. No, that the is people, what your The people says, have, the people have, have guns, things. and the government can ask them to come and serve in the militia. And they have to bring their guns with them. Which is it? You go can't on. have it both ways. No, no, go on. You're right. You're fine. Right. That's what George so, Washington said. So, and, and if you go back to the Second Amendment, what it says, the people sure. have a right to keep and bear arms. The right and exists. The well right regulated exists. Escape you, no, though, right? you can't have a well-regulated militia if you take away the people's right that they have to keep and bear arms, possess and carry. You can't have a militia without <laughs> it. It's not predicated upon service no. in a militia. The existence of a right is there. It's God and or nature given that we have a right to keep and bear arms. So, well, why? well regulated why? militia. Yeah. So if I don't want to join a militia, I can't have a gun? If you don't want to join the militia, you should not have a uh, rifle that has the ability to kill 30 what should people I have? in what should one I have? round. What should I have? Well, I think you should have, you know, whatever gun you like, but as long as you can keep about 10 bullets in that chamber. Why and 10? About it. Why 10? Why 10? Because it's a compromise. I prefer two or three, but um, if, you know, not just bigger, one. You know, Why not just, just a single shoot. shot? Uh -huh. Just one. Why not just a single shot? Just one. That's even better. That's perfect. But not everybody likes that, so I'm trying to compromise. Yeah. I, I got a compromise from you. If I've got a room, if I've got a room, a compromise. Mind your All own right. business. <laughs> All right. Mind your own business. Since I can't now, finish you... my sentences, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, go I'm ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did, have I didn't a wonderful afternoon. No. No, no. It's, don't it's, get it's... angry and go away. Just go away. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Gabby, calm down. Finish your sentence. Okay. Go ahead. Finish. I forgot it. Son's not even important anymore. <laughs> you couldn't make it up. <laughs> you were making it up. All right, hey, listen, so thank actually you. what I was saying, Keith, was just if if I've got someone that's hell-bent on killing a, a group of people, if he doesn't have the ability to get his hands on a magazine that holds 30 clips, but rather if he's, if he's going to commit this kind of horrendous crime, I would rather see him only be capable of getting a magazine that holds 10, I know it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's, 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 and, and if I've got a room of 30 people, 10 are going to die, 20 are going to live. Oh, if yeah. I don't have that, if I don't have that, I've got no limit on the magazine. If I've got 30 and what I've was, got 30 people in the room, for, they're all going to be killed. I just yeah, want some things, people to live. Two things in response to that. What, what if he chose to throw a five-gallon can of gasoline into that room with a flaming rag in it. All okay. 30 would die. But, but not necessarily not instantaneously because you still got time to move. So, so if there were... Uh, if you oh, he wouldn't, my friend. Because he, no, no, no. Keith, stop a minute. Stop a minute with your with your gasoline. Because okay. if, what would he do? Just pour it in the doorway? No, no, no. Because there's no way he'd be in and it and off the entire place. You throw it in and it explodes. A, a gallon of gasoline has the explosive force of 10 sticks of dynamite. Boom! And he, so he, he would throw a, literally 50 sticks of dynamite into it. So how heavy would that thing be to throw? I don't know. How about five gallons weighs? I can carry it down the street and run Okay, that's pretty heavy for me. I don't know if I could yeah, lob it. You can do that, 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 would get some, that would get some so attention. I I think it would be magazine. If I only had 10 rounds, and remember that guy, uh, Dalen Peebold out in uh, the, one, the first one in, in Colorado. What was that yeah. one? Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Right. He had a yep. 10 round high point magazine. Multiple magazines, Gabby. It takes less than two seconds to change a magazine. You know, if you practice you at it. If you practice, no, you're you right. No, you don't, baby. No, you no, don't. Come on, I, I, I do it without practicing. It, it ain't well, that hard. You, it ain't you that have hard. a natural knack, Keith. Not everybody's no. naturally knacked as you. Gabby, I'm telling you, it, with, uh, with practice, you can do it in less than a second. You know what? Why don't you go no. look on YouTube and see that? That's you fine. You, know what? you do still have to do it on YouTube. Practice. Fast reload. <laughs> Fast reload on YouTube and watch how fast those guys reload. Those guys. I still have to pull my trigger, my, my, my hand, away from the trigger to do that. I have to do, and even if I'm only taking a second, that's a that's a second where I don't have it on the trigger. That's a second where somebody can come and elbow me, get One me off second. balance, and buy One that. Second. That's fine. That's yeah. better than nothing because a chance is better than no chance. Right. And I why think that's why, why should I be unarmed? Whilst that asshole is armed, and I don't because have a chance. If he's armed, we won't have the issue. Okay, so you 